Hello everyone. Thank you all for the kind words and the good wishes. I still can't find my voice. If you took it, please bring it back. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a trigonometric expression. We're given tangent 29 and we are supposed to find tangent 37 in terms of x. Both of these angles are in degrees, not in radians. Okay. Now, we've done similar problems before, but this problem is a little different because we're going to work backwards, kind of. So, let's go ahead and set tangent 37 equal to A, something simple. And then, normally, if we're given an expression, we will try to build the other one from the first one, but this time I'm going to start off with 37 because A is simpler than the given expression, obviously. And again, the answer is supposed to be in terms of x. So let's go ahead and uh, use the double angle formula and then we're going to use the difference formula. So one of the formulas that we're going to use is going to look like this. Tangent to alpha is going to be 2 tangent alpha divided by 1 minus tangent squared alpha. And the other formula is the difference formula for tangent which is tangent alpha minus tangent beta divided by 1 plus tangent alpha times tangent beta. Okay, so those are the tools we're going to use. Let's go ahead and double the 37. That's going to become 2a over 1 minus a squared. Now, I want to get tangent 29 from the 74. So I'm going to subtract 45 from 74, and that's going to give me 29. So tangent 74 minus 45 is equal to tangent 29. Therefore, tangent 29, I'm switching sides here, can be written as tangent 74 minus tangent 45 divided by 1 plus tangent 74 multiplied by tangent 45. Remember that tangent 45 is equal to 1. So we can just go ahead and replace them with 1. And this is going to give us the following. Tangent 29 is equal to... Now, tangent 74, we found it as... Uh, 2a over 1 minus a squared, so in terms of a, let's go ahead and replace that with this, minus 1 divided by 1 plus, when you multiply tangent 74 by 1, you're going to get tangent 74, obviously, so it's the same thing, and that's going to be our expression for tangent 29. Let's go ahead and simplify this. I can make a common denominator here and common denominator here, and then you're going to notice that the denominators are the same, so they're going to cancel out. So I only need to focus on the top parts, 2a minus 1 plus a squared divided by 1 minus a squared plus 2a. Obviously, I can just arrange this a little bit and write it as a squared plus 2a minus 1 divided by negative a squared plus 2a plus 1. So that is my expression for tangent 29. But if you remember, tangent 29 was given to us in terms of x and our goal was to find a in terms of x so let's go ahead and set those expressions equal to each other and you're going to notice some similarities so since both of these expressions are equal to tangent 29 then they're equal so this expression is equal to that expression at this point you probably see something do you see what i see but we'll talk about that later there is an obvious solution right so, how does it go? Uh, I'm going to use cross multiplication. So, let's go ahead and multiply these and then those. Let's go ahead and distribute the a. That's going to give us negative a squared x squared and then plus 2a squared x and then plus a squared. And then I'll distribute the 2a over the, the bottom one on the right hand side minus um, 2ax squared plus 4ax plus 2a, and then finally I'm going to distribute the negative 1, that's going to give me positive x squared minus 2x minus 1, and I'll do the same thing here, distribute, that's going to give me negative a squared x squared, so I'm distributing the negative a squared first, minus 4a squared, no not 4a squared, that should be a 2, uh, minus 2, <coughs> minus 2a squared x, and then plus a squared. And then I'm going to distribute the 2a over this, uh, 2ax squared plus 4ax minus 2a. And finally, I'm going to distribute the positive 1. That's going to give me x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now, a lot of things are going to cancel out here. 
So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. Okay, these two are going to cancel out. A squared is going to cancel out. 4ax is going to cancel out. x squared is going to cancel out. And negative 1 is going to cancel out. So we're going to end up with the following. 2a squared x minus 2ax squared plus 2a minus 2x is equal to negative 2a squared x plus 2ax squared minus 2a plus 2x. Notice that everything on the right hand side is the opposite of everything on the left hand side, sort of. So let's go ahead and add everything on the right hand side on the left hand side so that we're going to double like these two are like terms, for example. We're going to get 4a squared x minus 4ax squared plus 4a minus 4x is equal to 0. Now at this point, I can just go ahead and divide both sides by 4 easily and then I'm going to factor, right? This is going to simplify my expression. And now here I can factor this by grouping. I can take out ax times a minus x. And this can be like 1 times a minus x is equal to 0. Now from here, I can take out a minus x. And then I'll be getting ax plus 1 as the other factor. Great. So now we have a product. And using the zero product property, we can solve for a. Are we solving for a or x? Remember, the question was finding, question was finding tangent 37 in terms of x. So we're basically solving for a here. And the answer is going to be in terms of x. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to solve for a, setting the first factor equal to 0. a minus x equals 0 gives us a equals x. So that's one of the values, obviously. And the second one gives us x plus 1 equals 0. From here, a becomes negative 1 over x. Obviously, uh, x is not going to be 0 and a is not going to be 0 because those are the values uh, for the given expression. For example, a is going to be tangent 37. Now, what about the negative value? Well, if you solve this equation, because we have a specific value for tangent 29, right? You're going to get a quadratic equation and you're going to get two solutions. Guess what? One of them is going to be positive, the other one is going to be negative, and those are going to be the x values. If x is negative, then you got this solution. If x is positive, then you got the other solution. Therefore, we got two solutions, and this is what I was trying to say. When you have an equation like this, basically you have the same thing on both sides with different variables. That means that you can easily replace a with x, but that's not the only solution. That's why I wanted to solve it all the way to the end. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.